welcome to the Green Apple Home. So today I went to the Dollar Tree. And guys, they've got, they're like going high tech or something because they had all these gadgets for iPads and iPhones and laptops. And I thought I would go ahead and review them. Not that it would just save you a dollar if it doesn't work, but just to let you know that if it does work and it's wonderful, then you don't need to go to like Best Buy or anywhere else to get like a $20 item. But you can go to your Dollar Tree or your dollar store that's near you and get the same stuff. So um, my first item up for grabs, I have um, my phone used to have like a case that had an extra battery on it, but I found that the charge would not hold at all. It was just a pain in the rear and it was heavy. Anyways, my phone's naked right now. This is an iPhone 4. S. I don't know what it is. iPhone 4S. It fits an iPhone 4 or a 4S. So if you have one, you can get one for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> and I'm going to um, see if it actually fits my phone. So hopefully it does. Hold on. So you find where the slits are. It fits all right though. Like there's a cutout slit and then the little um, volume buttons are there. There's a wide slit for the bottom to charge it. Um, it's all, I mean, I don't know if the other ones are more snug than that. You can kind of just play with it. Maybe. It may be a little bit looser, in my opinion. So you may want to get a different one. This right here is a docking station that's a dollar. Docking stations should really only be a dollar because it's just like, hello, it's just a plug. Anyway, so I'm going to see if this will actually charge up my phone. Docking station. Ah. Sync your iPad. Ah. Or charge your iPhone 3G, 3GS, 4, 4S, and iPod. You still need to have your little cube that you should have with your phone. Come, that came with your phone. Plug it in. This one's all painted over. Mommy. This house, I swear. Mommy. I have a hot dog. You blow up. I know. This <laughs> pulls up my phone. I'll be so mad. Okay, let's see. Well, it appears to be charging my phone. The only thing I can see that's kind of cuckoo about it is that it's not even up on, pressed up against yeah. this. It's just yeah. hanging in the air from where I actually had to push yeah. down on the yeah. charging thing. Shouldn't it be like a flush against this? I don't know. Anyways, it's a little docking station. Mm. I mean, I don't think it's hurting it at all. So for a dollar, why not? An extra docking station? Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is one that I thought was uh, interesting. It's a smart eye stand. I have no clue if this is gonna work, but it's iPad and iPhone. You can lean it like this so that you can work on your iPad, supposedly. There's another one right here that I kind of want to try first. It's a tablet plastic stand is what it's called. Um, I bought one, um, this one was um, a, on clearance at Target. They actually don't carry this one anymore in the store or online it said it was originally 22 i think i added it for like 10. anyways it was it was peddled off as a kitchen one so that you could like cook from your ipad like look up recipes or whatever and then this little stand that came in this you can put if you, you know if you get your hands all spaghetti you can like touch the screen like this or whatever and not get your screen nasty and then put it in the little um thingy right there anyways um, there's one, and anyways, for the kids though, the kids always use it and their necks are straight down like this, which is really bad for their necks. You, my chiropractor said, you know, you should be like this, or if you have it down, your eyes are down, but your head is still up. So, but the whole having your neck down is bad for your neck. So I tried using this with my kids, like that, and it worked all right. So let's see if the Dollar Tree one... Uh, it does any better or if it would be worth it to get it oh you just bend it and then you push these out that's what it does like this and then you push this in one of these slots so it's got actually three levels one and then if the further down you go on the levels the more it leans so let's see if it works move big guy move See if it'll work. It's 
Well, that's kind of nice, actually. Didi. It's a fairly decent Didi. angle. The kids can sit up to the table and use it, and then their necks would be a little text next. I like that. And you can use it uh, horizontally or vertically or whatever, whichever way you want. It's supposed to be a water faucet. It's supposed to look like a water faucet, and then there's no instructions, so I'm just going to go out go for what it looks like on the picture. So you go like that and then put the faucet on like this. And then let's see. There's a little groove right here for your phone. So you can like, I don't know, put your phone there if you want. If you need it standing up. In the picture it had the iPad on this side. But I tried it the other way. And look how beautifully it stands up. Which is wonderful because if if you want to like share the iPad amongst three children, as I do sometimes, then it could act like as a as a TV rather than somebody holding it. Because I tried the plastic one with a TV, and it was at an angle, so this would be straight like a TV, like it was hung on the wall, which I love. So I actually love this water fountain one more than the plastic one. All right, this is the last one. It was the earbuds. Uh, I don't know why I have a goose as my um, screensaver. Who did that? Me. <laughs> you did that? A goose? Boo, there's a goose on my screensaver. Okay, so this is Dexter's laboratory. Okay, so at least it turned off. <laughs> Let's see how good it is. May you mute? This does not have a left and right ear. Like, it's not marked left and right. And it's not very good. wide. So you have to... Do this yourself, like a Twizzler, like licorice. Can you hear? Okay, they're both working. <laughs> can you hear? I can hear. They're not very comfortable. But they did have other earbuds there that had the, um, had the more gel. It was more like gel-like, the plastic gel type. But these would work in a pinch. This would be one that I would just put like in a backpack or something where if I actually lost them, I wouldn't be heartbroken. Yeah. But they do work. So if you need some privacy and you are looking to buy something on the cheap Dollar Tree, sure, why not? Anyways, this has been my Dollar Tree tech review. Now can I add the iPad? <laughs> if you have some technology, you'll probably need to buy these from the Dollar Tree because these things are expensive. So anyways. There you have it. There's my review. That was the Green Apple Home. And we'll see you next time.